Now, earlier we mentioned those soaring energy bills we're all facing. The warnings about this winter don't stop there. The national grid says it's facing a bit of a squeeze when it comes to powering our homes. Well, Shadia edwards Dashti is with us now. Shadia, it looks as if the figures that are coming up for bills could be even worse than we were expecting. Well, if you thought that things were bad now, I'm afraid they're only going to get worse as energy bills are set to soar to around £500 in January next year. So the National Grid, which is one of the leading utility companies here in Britain, they're now issuing a warning that they are going to struggle with the increase uh, in demand, particularly in the early month of December. Now, why? Well, of course, that's the time when majority of us are switching on our central heating as the nights then get colder. The good news is, though, they're not saying there's going to be a total blackout. They're saying, actually, there's enough supply to keep the lights on. However, we're going to have to pay for it. It paints a really bleak picture, though, because right now, on average, every household pays around £1,900 a year. According to Utilities Consultancy, BFY Group, they say, come next year, that's going to double, and you could end up paying as much as £3,850. And by January, your monthly bill could reach as much as £500. Obviously, off the back of the heights of the winter months, it's understandable, it's inevitable that that price will be higher in that particular month. But earlier, I spoke to a senior consultant at the BFY, and she says with these sorts of prices, people could end up dying. We are looking at probably about 50% of the population being in fuel poverty with these prices. Every year we do unfortunately see figures of people um, dying as a result of being unable to heat their homes. The stark reality that we're facing into here is even more people will be in that impossible situation of deciding whether to eat or whether to heat their homes and it will likely lead to further um, unnecessary deaths this year. So what is the government going to do about it? Well, of course, the government says it's in a very difficult position. Yes, it is understandable. The UK isn't alone in all of this. We know it's a Europe-wide issue, particularly with the shortage of supply across the continent. But it's the most vulnerable here in the United Kingdom that will suffer the most. They're the ones that will be hit the hardest because simply they don't really have the cash. Now, earlier today, Nadim Zahawi, the Chancellor, he actually said the government is doing all it can. Uh, the first tranche went out, in fact, uh, to people uh, last week and of course more to come for the autumn uh, £1,200 to the 8 million households that need that additional help but we will always be on the side of people try and help wherever we can to mitigate against these uh, energy price shocks. Of course, we are in the middle of a cost of living crisis. Pe people are already making very difficult decisions between heating and eating. But now, come January, people may not be able to do either. Thank you, Shadia. A very serious situation.